seventh graders, this is to help you with question five on CR 19. It says a tree shadow is 135 feet long when a yardstick shadow is nine feet long. How tall is the tree? All right, these are going to produce similar triangles. So we have a tree here. That's a pretty ugly tree, but it's a tree. So I have a tree. I have the height of my tree. And I know it must be sunny out. That tree is casting a shower, shadow. So here's the height of my tree. That tree is casting a shadow. The shadow that that tree is casting is 135 feet long. This happens to be a right triangle. All right. When a yardstick, so then you have this little yardstick here. I'm going to talk to you about how tall a yardstick is in a minute. But you have this little yardstick that for some reason outside, you're just like, I wonder how long this yardstick shadow is. I'm going to put it right next to the tree. And so you find out when the sun shines down that the length of the yardstick's shadow is 9 feet. These are similar triangles. And now here, here we go. This is a yardstick. Well, I'm going to tell you a yardstick is three feet. So I'm going to tell you that's three feet. One yard equals three feet. So a yardstick is three feet tall. So now I have similar triangles. I know this side is three feet. The side that corresponds to the three-foot side, I don't know. I know here, this side is nine feet. The corresponding side is 135 feet because the length of the shadow is what corresponds. Here's my little fact. So I have to say here, wow, how? what do I do with nine to get up to 35? Because I'll do that same thing with the three to get up to the question mark corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion. And what that says to me a proportion is just a fraction equal in fraction. So I'm going to do the height of my small triangle, height of the small, oops, that should say small. I'll do that over the base of the small triangle. The height of the small corresponds to the height of the large triangle, that's your tree, over the base of the large, okay. So I'm saying here the height of my small triangle is 3 feet. The base is 9 feet. The base of my large triangle is 135 feet. So I'm like, ooh, how do I get from 9 to 135? Because that's what I better multiply 3 by to get to the height of my tree. Oh, I'll just take 135 and divide by 9. 135 divided by 9. 9 goes into 13 once. 13 minus 9 is 4, drag down that 5, 9 goes into 45 5 times, 9 times 5 is 45, woohoo, I got to multiply 9 by 15, which means if I have to multiply 9 by 15, I have to multiply 3 by 15, I'm just going to erase these question marks now, because I didn't like how I had a little equal sign there, so I'm going to multiply the 9 by 15, which means I need to multiply the 3 by 15, 3 by 15 is... 45 so that tree must be 45 feet tall I don't know what just made me saying that fact it's, it's not really appropriate okay I hope that helps